There was much good news in the May employment report, with two and a half million people going back to work. There were concerning signs too. In May, 585,000 government workers lost their jobs following a loss of 963,000 jobs in April. These were mostly state and local government workers. This goes to illustrate the tough financial conditions that states, counties, and cities face with a deep loss of revenue from sales and income taxes. After the 2008-09 Great Recession, the same thing happened. State and local governments were still shedding jobs until 2013, three years after the recession had ended. Unlike the U.S. federal government, state and local governments cannot just run huge budget deficits. Yet in many cases, they have been the frontline providers of services during the pandemic shutdown. We'll be watching future employment reports carefully for signs that government workers are being rehired. However, it might be a slow process given the revenue challenges.